my Korean husband. Hey guys, I'm Nicola. I'm Hugh. Mr. Kwon. <laughs> and this is the My Korean Husband vlog. And what are we talking about today? Working holiday. Working holidays in Australia, but mostly Koreans who do the working holiday in Australia. So what is a working holiday? Um, they can legally stay in Australia for yeah. one year. Yes. And they can work. Yes. Legally, and they can travel. Around do what they want. Do, pretty much. Yeah. Do yeah. Whatever they want. Yeah. So, this is a really important point because sometimes with the blog and talking to people, when I say that you're Korean or I'm talking about other Koreans and I'll say my Korean friends, people sometimes think I'm talking about Australians who have Korean heritage. And they sort of make comments like, why are you talking about you know, their heritage? You know, they're, if they're in Australia, then they're Australian. But actually, no, these people are not Australian. They're Korean. They're Korean Korean. And they, that's all they want to be identified as, right? Yeah. So, and you are Korean Korean. You're not Korean Australian. So this is a very important point. And most of these Koreans in Australia are on working holiday visas. So they're different from Korean Australians who were maybe born here or they've immigrated here and they are part of the stable Korean community in Australia. We're talking about the working holiday community. Yes. Yes. So they're usually people in their 20s? Yeah, over 18 to yeah. under 30. Yeah. They can so, so how holiday. many Koreans come to Australia every uh, year? Over 30,000 So over 30,000? Yeah. Yes. Okay, so that, that's a lot of Koreans, right? Um, and so they're not just here for one year usually. What do they do? Yeah, uh, if they work in the uh, rural area, they like yeah. just work in the farm or the, the abattoir mm. for three months, they can extend their visa for Rural one more year, yeah. so they can yeah. stay So a lot of Koreans years. are here for two years at yeah. least. So what they do is, so Australia has this, I don't know, this program, this deal with certain uh, places, rural places in Australia where if they work on a farm mm. or an abattoir or some other type of rural work, they get signed off and they get their visa extended another year. Yes. So a lot of people do that. And that's why you find groups of working holiday Koreans in these country areas of Australia. Small, yeah, yeah, small towns, you will find Koreans because Your that's what they do. In my hometown, yeah, town, there's, yeah, small yeah, town, there's, there's a lot so of Koreans, Koreans there. Yeah, and so after they've done that, they can possibly change to a student visa, right? Yes. So a Korean, Korean person can stay in Australia for several years just on these different visas like that. Yep. And that's how people like us meet. And that's why there's more couples like us, right? Mm -hmm. So there's more and more couples like us because young guys in their 20s are coming to Australia and they're meeting girls and there's girls interested in Korean culture and so there's more matches like us. Yes. So Australia is actually a really good place um, to learn more about Korean culture if you're unable to go to Korea. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of stuff, like there's so many things we could talk about with this and the whole working holiday culture. There is one thing I will say though, there is definitely Working holiday fashion, right? Yes. Korean people. Okay, when you go to Korea, you it's will see... It's not working holiday fashion. Actually, <laughs> I wear like that yeah. in my hometown. But when you go to Korea, especially in Seoul, you'll see a lot of really fashionable, yes. well-dressed people, yeah, right? Of course, yeah. But a lot of, when a lot of Koreans come to Australia, they don't care about their fashion as much, right? Because they're like, I'm doing my working holiday. Yeah, yeah, it depends. Yeah. Like working holidays, someone who he, who don't care, they yeah. just don't wear like that. But like student, they usually fashionable. Right? So the students, the student visas are the fashionable ones, and the working holiday ones like because I don't they care. have money. Okay. Or their their parents. Maybe their parents are paying for it. But some people, even though they're an Australian resident, because they first came here working holiday. Way. They still have working holiday fashion, right? I still do. Yeah, okay, here's a picture. I put this on our social media, so a lot of you probably already seen this picture. This is him going to the supermarket with me. The puffy jacket and Not only pajama me. pants. It's comfortable, so. So I think people from Britain are the number one for people that come to Australia to do working holiday visa. And I, th I don't know if Korea's the number two, but you're up there somewhere. 
I think we are second or so. Yeah. Yeah. A lot of Koreans come to Australia. And so meeting Koreans that are on working holiday visas is a really good chance to learn about Korean culture and to learn the language. And often they are wanting to meet international people and look, like improve their English yes. and that. Yes. Um, yeah, so it's actually something that I really like about Sydney because there's so many Koreans and that's how we met here. And I've had lots of Korean friends in Sydney. So you can experience that without actually going to Korea. But we're still going to Korea. <laughs> but you can make Koreans everywhere in Australia, even small town. Yes, even in a small country town, you can meet a Korean person. A Korean... Korean person from Korea. <laughs> so, go make some friends. If you want to have some Korean friends and learn more about Korean culture and learn some Korean. So there's a lot of things we could say about this topic, but we'll just try to keep it short. You can ask some more questions and we can try to answer them. And you can go over to the blog and check out the daily comics and check out your site, What a Nice. And subscribe and thumbs this video up and check out all the social media and everything like that. And we will see you later. Bye. Bye. Bye.